All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about workbenches. And we're going to talk about the 48 inch workbench with light. And I'm going to talk about the wooden one also. So let's change the picture. Let's get right to it. You know, the question we came out at the club when we were there, a couple of people wanted to get a workbench to put outside because they saw outside of my house, I have a workbench. Um, it's kind of custom made. I went out and I bought the steel at a local supplier, used my MIG welder, and I MIG welded up a nice small table. I mean, it's meant for like, you know, plants and just doing things outside and it doesn't matter, you know, the weather. But they thought, hey, I'll buy one. Let's take a look at this first one. Let's take a look at that 48 inch one with the light. Let me change the picture. We'll continue the conversation. Okay, so here we go. Here's the advertisement. $94.99 four and a half stars um do i believe all of that no i don't this is a very cheaply flimsy made kind of a workbench even with uh modifications i'm not sure it will really be what you really want and we'll go through that here in just a second but at 94.99 i would tell you no way now let's take a look at the advertised price that's in the current flyer okay so this is the current uh flyer or catalog that came out it shows it's marked down to $79.99. And would I still consider buying it at that price? No, I don't think I would. And let me tell you why. So let's first do questions and answers and I'll explain to you why. Okay, well, first off, the instructions that come with it are incredibly poor. I mean, uh, I wouldn't even suggest you go buy them. You'll probably get lost somewhere along the line. And a friend of mine went ahead and got one. He got it out to the club and I told him, you need to read the reviews on these. I mean, before you get too far into this. And he did, and he took the pieces out, took a closer look at them, repackaged everything and took it back. And then he got the wooden one, which we'll get to in a minute. So, okay, so the instructions were poor. Now with most people, it's missing the screws and the bolts, or at least a good amount of them which means you're going to have to go buy them and then as you assemble it some of the holes don't line up like they should which is going to require you to drill them out and possibly you're going to need you know bolts washers lock washers whatever i mean to go ahead and finish the assembly now another person complained that look after 90 days i realized this just wasn't a good product and i took it back and they refused because it was after the 90 days you know, look, I don't know what to tell you. If you can't figure it out faster than 90 days, I mean, uh, you deserve to get stuck with it. I don't know what else to say. And in which case, you know, go do the modifications by drilling and adding, you know, better bolts, lock washers or what have you. But that's kind of like your own fault. Another person or more complained that it got damaged in shipment. Okay, well... I would suggest you buy it directly from the store if you can. That way, you know, in the parking lot or wherever you want, like I keep saying, I mean, you can open it up, look at things and make sure that it's not damaged. You can also, I can't tell you 100%, but you can make sure there's the screws, the bolts and everything that you need are in there. But even so, this is a very thin gauged kind of a sheet metal that this thing is made out of. And it's very, very flimsy. Um, the particle board uh, that's on this is like almost paper thin. I mean, it's just, you know, bad. And somebody said, well, you can go to Stop at Home Depot or Lowe's, pick up pegboard. Yeah, I know. But now you're buying more stuff to do the modifications, I mean, to it. And even if you did do that, which I wouldn't disagree with your comment, you still are probably going to be not happy with how flimsy all of this is. And the drawers can fall off this real easy because they're made out of the same flimsy sheet metal as the rest of it. Um, so I, I don't think that you're going to be happy with it. I mean, really in the long run, the drawers are just a, just a poor fit all the way around and they're not strong. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you about that. Um, a lot of people run into wanting replacement parts or they call Harbor Freight's customer service and they're often told these are made by more than one manufacturer and it's very difficult to try to get replacement parts for these. So they're not available. Um, so you're going to have to figure out your own modifications depending on what it is that went wrong or package it up and take it back. I mean, those are your two options. But is it worth $80? The answer is no. Like I said, I made my own. I made it out of tube steel that I got out of the steel supplier. And if you have a MIG welder, four and a half inch angle grinder, some cutoff wheels, some grinding wheels, 
get yourself some black paint. I mean, and you can actually custom make your own. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun project. Let's say that you didn't. Okay. Now where I'm at, I'm out in desert cities in California. So I don't worry about the weather as much as a lot of people do. So what my neighbor bought, she bought two of these. Um, I got an old video somewhere, you know, if you want to look it up in the playlist about this, but let me change the picture and show you. Okay, folks, so here's the wooden table. This is the hardwood workbench. Now, I live in desert cities, so I mean, the thing is, this seems to hold up real well. So it's not in, you know, the constant environmental stuff like, you know, rain, snow, stuff like that. And we keep it out under the awning. But I also have a different type of a table I want to show you. This table works good. It works good for both interior and exterior. The interior one, a little bit of design work. You can look in the playlist where a neighbor of mine took one of these for her hallway and actually decorated it up and it looks nice in the hallway. But I'm going to show you the other one that we recently purchased and the modifications or the suggestions that we can do to it. So give me just a sec. Okay, folks. So now this is one that two of the people out of the club went ahead and bought. And I went over and I played around with this thing. It's made out of a much thicker, you know, kind of sheet metal. It's got the holes in it. You can bolt this up like it shows you right in the picture. I said, well, why would they do that? I mean, it's 70 bucks because then out at the steel supplier, if you go to the cutoff section, they bought whatever they wanted in the way of thicker gauge sheet metal for the top of this and simply set it on their scribed holes. One person drilled it because it was going to be an outside workbench, dropped some bolts through it, and then there you go. And so then, he, well, of course, he painted it black and stuff like that. I think he used Rust-Oleum primer and then he went over the whole thing and matched it, you know, with this matte black. And like it says here, bring your own top. Well, you could put a piece of plywood on there if you wanted to. Uh, you could put MDF. You could use a lot of different things. I mean, you don't have to do the steel route. But when you're done, you're going to have a much more sturdier table. It's going to sit up just as high as you want it. The dimensions are here. It accommodates 27-inch depth up to 34 inches deep and from 24 inches in length to 27. So the height adjustment is from 29 to 35 inches. So you just take some measurements and you can kind of figure things out yourself. But for the same price, probably when they're done, if you, let's just say, you know, $80 for another $10, depending on what you buy, you can actually put a top on this and then, you know, buy some bolts or what have you and boom, you have a much sturdier table. So this is the route the two of them went. So those are my thoughts on these workbenches. There's nothing wrong with the wooden ones, but if it's really going to get weathered that bad, you might want to consider going this route, making your own. It's very simple with basic tools. If you go this route right here above my head. All right. So I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. Keep following me. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you like the reviews and you like the ideas that I'm bringing you on this stuff. Till the next video, you folks have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.